In this video, I'm gonna be giving you an update on my most recent affiliate marketing website, bestroofbox.com. I'm gonna be sharing with you my latest earnings and traffic, and we're also gonna be looking at some analytics reports, some reports that I think are essential when you're running an affiliate marketing website to give you a bit of feedback on how well you're doing, what's working and what's not working, and a whole load of other stuff which I think you'll find interesting and also motivational because it's good to keep an eye on how your site's doing so that you can hopefully see some improvement and that kind of spurs you on to carry on working and, and gives you that motivation that you need. If you're new here and you've not been following my adventures with this affiliate marketing website, then you can find all of the videos in the playlist that's just appeared up there in a card. Do go check it out. It also includes the very first video, which is a full length tutorial on exactly how I created the website. So that's enough looking at my face. Let's get on the computer. Let's have a look at some earnings and let's have a look at some analytics. Let's go. So let's start with the latest earnings. Here we go, you can see them right now. We're up to $67.26, which is pretty good, I think. So we've got $57 in fees and then we've got a $10 bounty because someone signed up for an Audible free trial using my link. As I've said previously, people order all sorts of things once they click through to Amazon and it's great that you can get commission on all of them. Now, if we drill down, it gets even more interesting because if we take a look at the products that have actually been bought via my links, we can see that up here, number one, we have a roof box. That's very exciting that we are actually starting to sell some actual roof boxes from the roof box website. So yeah, no, that's that's a great sign. And not only have we sold one, but there's another one here as well, look. And the great thing about um, roof boxes is that they're not particularly cheap. So this one here was uh, nearly $300, earned me $16 in um, commission. To be fair, it's not fantastic, but hey, that's the kind of rates you get from Amazon nowadays. And you know, combined with their high conversion rate, it still still works out okay. Even better though here, this one was nearly $550, earned me $30 in commission. So if we get a few more of those in, um, the earnings are really gonna shoot up. So yeah, we've sold over a thousand dollars worth of stuff on Amazon. Total earnings fifty-seven, then plus the ten uh, bounty, we're up to sixty-seven. So I'm hoping there's going to be some more coming this week. Of course, I'll do another update uh, probably next week with the latest on that. We might as well have a quick look at AdSense as well, I suppose. See how that's doing. Okay, so here we are in Google AdSense, and there's the figures here along the bottom for BestRoofbox.com. Probably just click through to that actually. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. So this is for the last 30 days, estimated earnings $5.31, which is not too bad. Yeah, it's ticking along. I may add a few more ad units in the future, see if I can uh, get this up a little bit higher. But for the entire lifetime of the site, we're up to $25 in AdSense earnings. So I'm really pleased with those earnings and it's happening actually a little bit quicker than I thought it would because I think the site was launched back in March, was it? So it's only been a few months and it's really starting to gain some good momentum. So the next part of the video, we're gonna be looking at Google Analytics. Let's jump in there right now. I'll be showing you um, the traffic levels as they are at the moment. And I'm also gonna show you some of my kind of favorite reports within Google Analytics that you can hopefully have a look at for your site. And uh, they're a great way of seeing how well your site's doing, measuring progress uh, and all that kind of stuff. So just on my homepage of Google Analytics for Best Roof Box. We see that uh, users are up slightly and bounce rate is down. I don't particularly like this homepage, I like to drill into the reports better. So my first report that I'm gonna share with you today is just the general audience overview report. This gives you a great idea in terms of how well um, your site's doing in general. I'll take you through a few of these metrics as well so that we're all clear um, exactly what they mean. So users is the number of people that have actually come to your site. The new users is people that are new, <laughs> people that haven't come back for a second or third time. Sessions is the actual number of visits. So uh, if one user came two times, that would be two sessions, but only one user. 
Gives you a number of sessions per user. So it's 1.46, that's just an average. This total number of page views, pages per session. So that's the number of pages on average people look at when they visit. It's how long on average they spend on the site. And this is the bounce rate. So the bounce rate is the percentage of people that come to the site and then they leave without actually doing anything else. So they don't click on any of your other pages and they don't click on any of your internal links. They just look at a page and then they disappear off maybe back to Google or off to another site. Now people tend to get very obsessed with bounce rate. And of course in general, the lower the bounce rate, the better. But I don't think it's a metric that people should worry about too much, especially with an affiliate marketing website. Let me explain why that is. So say for example, someone does a search on Google and they do a search for the, uh, uh, let's do it right now, let's do it live, the best roof box for golf clubs. Do that search on Google. They'd have a look down and they find this fantastic site here. Oh look, it's my site, that's good. And they give it a click. They come through to the article, they have a read of the article and they go, oh yeah, yeah, this looks very interesting, mm, okay. Um, I think I'm gonna check out this uh, Thule, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Thule Sidekick, sidekick Cargo Box. They click the link and because I'm in the UK, it's taken me to a wrong page, but never mind. Uh, you get the idea. They come to Amazon, they find the roof box that they're looking for, they buy the roof box and they're done. And then they never come back to my site again, they close the tab and, and that's it. Now in analytics, that visitor would be classed as a bounce because they just came to the site, looked at one page, didn't do anything else, clicked off to Amazon and were never seen again, so that was a bounce. But was that a bad thing? No because they clicked one of my affiliate links, they've ordered a roof box, I've earned some commission, it's all good. So that is why I don't think you should obsess with uh, bounce rate. And yeah, don't worry too much about bounce rate, around 50% is generally average anyway. So a couple of other basics when it comes to Google Analytics, you've got your date range up here, so that's the sample of data that you're looking at. At the moment I'm looking at the last 30 days, I believe, let me just double check. Yep, last 30 days. And then you've got this tick box here so that you can compare to another time, maybe the month before um, or the year before, though I haven't got data for last year because the site's quite new. And then if you press apply, you'll get an orange line so you can kind of compare. And we can see that best roofbox, the users are up 61%, so that's a good sign. New users are up 62%, sessions are up 48%. Number of sessions per user is down very slightly, but I'm not gonna worry about that, it's only a very small number. Page views are up and that's a big number. Pages per session is down, but that's a small number. So not to worry about that. Average session duration is up very slightly. And bounce rate hasn't really changed, but as I said, I don't really care that much about bounce rate. So that's your first report. Very simple, very uh, clear. It's the overview of how many users you're getting and how long they're spending on the site. Now within audience, there's a whole load of other reports that I very rarely look at, because I'm not that interested in them. This is where I like to take a look and that is the acquisition section. So this is showing us where people are coming from, how they're finding the site, all that kind of stuff. So very, very interesting. So let's go into the all traffic section and then the channels. Gives us a bit of an overview. Let's have a scroll down. So the first grouping is direct. So these are visitors that have just kind of typed the website into their web browser, They've just gone over to the Chrome or whatever and typed in bestroofbox.com. 429 of those. Now of course I mentioned this site a lot on my YouTube channel so that's why direct is quite high. People hear me say it and then they just type it in. The next is organic search. Now this is a bit more interesting. So organic search is people coming from Google. I mean SEO might be another way of saying this. And I can see that it's up considerably and again we're using this compare to the, you know, the previous 30 days. It's up 148%. We've then got social, that's up 50%. And referral is the same. So referral is from other websites uh, out there on the web. Now we should be able to drill into these. So for example, if we click on referral, I can now see some of the sites that are sending people over. Now a few of these are gonna be from you guys that are creating your websites because I think I may have left a link to bestroofbox.com in my page templates that I provide. 
uh, the Elementor page templates, which you may be aware of. Um, but people then tend to change that quite quickly. But I can see that there's people coming from all of these sites and by the names of them like Best Pet Bed and Best TV Bracket, I can see that they're probably websites that are inspired by Best Roof Box. Nevertheless, quite interesting anyway to take a look at. So next thing I wanna look at is the Search Console. Now this is very interesting. So the Search Console is again related to organic search. In order for this to work, you're gonna to need to have Search Console set up, which hopefully you have. I've done a number of videos on exactly how to do this. I'll put some links to those in the description of this video. I might put a card up as well. Now Google Search Console is an essential part of having a website, I think. You go over there, you sign up, you submit a sitemap to Google and then they know exactly all about your website. They also give you feedback in terms of how well your site is doing on Google. Once you have that set up, you can link it to Google Analytics, which is what I've done here. Very simple, just come in here in Google Analytics, go into Search Console and a screen will pop up saying you need to link it. Just follow the wizard, very easy, just kind of click through and then log into Search Console and it will put the two together. And then what Analytics does is it pulls data in from Search Console, displays it in here in nice reports. So let's have a look at the first one, which is landing pages. So a landing page is basically where people are entering the site. We can see that the most popular is this slash, which is the home page. The next one is the roof uh, cargo box for golf clubs, the page that I just had a look at a moment ago. It is doing quite well on Google, which is why it's become a very popular landing page, up 388%. You can also see the individual bounce rate for each page, obviously varies across um, the different pages. So on the home page, it's quite low, which is what you'd expect because people hit the home page and then they click around, go to another page. For the more specific pages, it is a bit higher for the reasons that I just uh, explained earlier. So this is interesting to see where people are coming into the site and which bits of content are doing well. You can obviously use this information um, when you're planning content, you could maybe do more around golf. That might be an idea for me because that seems to be doing well. And soft roof boxes, again, seems to be quite uh, a popular topic, so I probably need to do some more content around that as well. So that's the landing pages. The other Search Console uh, report that I like is this one, queries. So this tells us the actual search queries that people are typing in to Google that we're getting impressions for and that we're getting clicks for. So the first search query is best roof box. Pretty good search query. Gives you an idea of the monthly volume here. So that's how many people are actually typing it into Google every single month in the US, 140. This is how much it would cost on Google AdWords. Uh, this is the competition level. Uh, I think one means there's quite a bit of competition, zero, not so much. And this is the number of clicks that we've had from this particular search query, 49. It's up 390% on the previous period. Now this is a really interesting uh, metric. It's the average position. So that is um, whereabouts on the Google search results page we are appearing. So it's 8.5 on average. So that's you know somewhere towards the bottom of Google. Let's have a quick look, I think. Um, I guess you'd call this position one, no, that's sponsored. You call this position one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would be down here. So if we look here at the actual search term for the golf clubs, we can see that my position is uh, 1.9, which is right because if we look on here, I'm position two, so also just kind of darting around this area. The really exciting part is the change because in the last 30 days, or well, the previous 30 days, I was position eight and now I'm position two, so that's some good uh, progress there. This percentage change is a little bit weird because it's a negative number even though it's a positive outcome. <laughs> if you get what I mean. Uh, when you move up, that is a negative. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But a lot of them have jumped up quite high, so that one, how to pack a roof box, was position 41, which is you know on page four, I think, on Google. Now it's position 6.4, which is page one. Uh, this one has not moved, that one's moved. And there's gonna be a lot of data in here, so if you wanna look at more rows, you just increase this number here, and I think there's like 500 odd rows here of, of data to look through. Now this bit here where it says it was position one back in April to May, 
that's not right because I think it actually wasn't ranking at all then uh, because there's no impressions or clicks or anything like that. Then it's jumped to 38 for that particular search term. Anyway, that's the Search Console Queries Report, a very interesting report. You can look at that all day, uh, finding out which keywords you're ranking for and if you're moving up or down. Now there's a couple more reports I wanna share with you and they are within the behavior section which is in here. So behavior kind of shows how users and visitors are interacting with your site, what they're looking at and how they're clicking around, all that kind of stuff. Now an interesting report is within site content and all pages. So this just gives an idea of which pages are popular. So the home page is the most popular, that is to be expected. Then we've got my two categories again, that's uh, to be expected. Gets a little bit more interesting when you start looking at actual content. So how to pack uh, is very popular. The golf club one is very popular. SUV, that's jumped up from zero to 138. I think that's a new bit of content, that might be why. So it's great to get an idea of which content is popular and working well so that you can create more. You can also check out the individual bounce rates and all that kind of stuff as well, if you like. Although, as I said, bounce rate is not that important. Final couple of reports is the landing pages and the exit pages. So landing pages is where people are entering the site and exit pages is where they're leaving the site. It's good to see uh, which ones are working well. So it's the roof box, uh, how to pack a roof box carrier. Um, the golf club one and, and that kind of stuff as well. So really interesting and then you can look at the exit pages. And again, an affiliate website, this could just mean the page that's getting a lot of clicks um, to Amazon or wherever you're sending people. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad page and people are coming to it and going, oh, this site's terrible, I'm off. Could be that it's a good page and people are clicking on the affiliate links and exiting that way. So that's all the analytic stuff that I wanna go through um, in this video. I mean, there is a lot more reports as you can see, but I think they're the most interesting um, if you're just starting out uh, looking at uh, analytics and trying to get an idea of how well your website's doing and whether you're making progress. I think it's really good to to take a look at these on a regular basis and just see if your site's moving in the right direction, if traffic is up and if your SEO rankings are getting better um, because it really kind of motivates you to carry on working on your site. So that brings to the end of this video. I'd love to know how you're getting on with your website. Do leave me a comment below. I read all the comments I get and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so right now. Just click on the eagle up there. That way you won't miss out when I upload a new video. I try and do one at least every week. Do check out my vlog channel. Click on my face up there to see that. And here are a couple more videos I've been chosen specially for you. So I hope you enjoy them. Till next time, bye for now.